Hey, what up? It's your boy. Please give a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, for Japanese idiot of the year getting what he deserves. I didn't really cover it as the story was progressing, but for those of you who have been on the internet and know a little bit about Japanese media, there was a couple of cases a while back, kind of at the beginning of this year, where there was just a lot of really really dumb young Japanese people doing absolutely stupid things for clout. Or I guess for attention, maybe some of them didn't even get a lot of clout. But in today's video, the man responsible and really the man who kind of started this whole trend definitely got some clout out of it, that's for sure. But because what he did was so abhorrent and uh, Japanese defamation laws are a lot stricter than most Western countries, he finally got what he deserved. So to bring you up to speed on this story, there is a massive sushi train uh, restaurant called Sushiro here in Japan. If you've visited Japan before, you've probably been to to it, just a standard uh, Kaiten Zushi or Sushi Train uh, company that is all over the country. And you know, they're cheap, but they're great. I sometimes go to Sushi every now and then when I want some cheap, good sushi. But back in January of this year, there was a young kid over on TikTok, I believe, who decided that he was going to get a little bit devious at his local Sushi And some of the things that he did were absolutely abhorrent. I mean, I don't understand this whole trend of people on TikTok doing really dumb things. I thought we were past that point after the whole Tide Pod challenge thing, but nope, I guess stupidity knows no bounds. So a quick short list of some of the dumb things that he did include grabbing the soy sauce bottle that is community. Everyone who goes to the restaurant sits down at the table and there is a single soy sauce bottle that everybody uses who goes to that table. He grabbed that bottle and uh, he licked the crap out of where the soy sauce comes from, which is just bioterrorism in the most disgusting form. He also grabbed a number of tea mugs that are placed there, licked the brim of some of them, and then placed them back in the not used pile, even though it is clearly being used and is now absolutely disgusting slobber filled. And on the sushi train itself, he spat onto a number of plates as they were moving around. It's kind of scary to think that some of those spit filled plates of sushi were probably eaten by some unfortunate customers who happened to be there on that day. <laughs> Real stomach churning shit that this kid did. And of course, because he was so stupid and his friends that he was with were laughing and egging him on to do all this kind of stuff, they not only filmed everything, but then they also uploaded it onto social media again. Why would you do something like that? That's like if someone killed a kid and was like, yo, hold up, that murder was kind of hot. Uh, let me grab that shit on TikTok. This shit about to go viral. I mean, look, I'm not saying that murder is the equivalent to bioterrorism, but you get the point, okay? Why would you purposefully leave hard evidence out on the internet for you to eventually get caught, which is exactly what happened. And because of these videos, it actually caused the stock prices of Sushiro to drop by a whopping 5% just in a single day. That, mind you, equivalates to about $120 million lost from Sushiro. This single viral TikTok of this kid doing all these disgusting things in his local Sushiro just because he wanted to make a couple of his dumbass friends laugh and thinking he'd get some TikTok clout cost the company $120 million. Literally the most expensive TikTok ever made. I saw that video back in the day and I saw that these dumbass kids were going around committing bioterrorism in a sushi chain that I used to go to and I like going to, then yeah, I'm probably not going to want to go to it either. If I was a business owner, I would try to push back a little bit being like, oh, okay, there's some there's some fuckery happening at Sushiro right now and they're not really doing anything about it as of, you know, the time of them uploading the video. So, uh, hey, you know what? I'm, I might pull back a little bit. And so obviously, if you upload a couple of videos of you committing bioterrorism in your company's vicinity, which causes your stocks to drop by 5% in a single day, let's just say the higher ups are, are not going to be silent about it. In fact, just a couple of months later, uh, Sushiro actually filed a official lawsuit against this kid who, by the way, is a minor. So most likely his parents are going to have to cough up this money. And we just found out today for how much they're suing him for, which is roughly half a million dollars. Well done, dumbass. I really hope that TikTok clout was worth it.
I mean, you know, it, it might have honestly just been cheaper to just buy a bunch of followers on TikTok because <laughs> your parents are probably going to disown you after this. If I was your parent, I certainly would. And again, as I said at the beginning of this video, defamation laws are very, very strict in Japan. I mean, obviously, when it comes to this kind of thing that has hard evidence on TikTok, considering it came from a viral video, and there was basically the, the catalyst to start this ridiculous trend, which, by the way, happened during a time where... You you know, the coronavirus was still very prevalent in Japan. Like, you know, the, the, the World Health Organization hadn't yet announced the end of the pandemic yet. So it's even more so of a crime. But now, unfortunately, it's kind of left a large uh, stain in the reputation of Sushiro. I mean, you know, when I saw this news first time, I instinctively thought to myself, wow, OK, I'm, I'm never going to a Sushiro ever again, because who knows if I might be in the wrong place at the wrong time, which obviously is very unfair to Sushiro because it's not really their fault. It's the fault of these dumbass TikTok clout chasers. And so, look, let's be real. We don't know if the lawsuit has actually been successfully filed yet. We don't know if the kid, or rather his parents, are actually going to have to cough up the half a million dollars. But I think anybody with any sane brain can tell you that, uh, yeah, it doesn't matter how good of a lawyer you might have. Uh, kid, you're not fucking winning this. You are literally going up against a multi-million, hell, billion dollar company company in Japan, one of the biggest sushi chain restaurants in all of Japan, and your evidence is a bunch of viral TikTok videos. So uh, yeah, you, you, I think I think that kid is pretty much screwed. Hopefully uh, this news going viral, this news making it out publicly is a good PSA, although I don't know why you would ever need a PSA for this, to perhaps not commit bioterrorism. Perhaps bioterrorism is a bad thing and no amount of clout is ever worth this much pain and suffering for your wallet. And, and it's really funny because just last month, uh, they did their first uh, court hearing here, as you can see. And, uh, you know, obviously, uh, Sushiro, uh, you know, with their probably army of lawyers came out with all the hard evidence being like, we saw the TikToks, we know it's you, your face is shown on it. And because of that, uh, we are losing a lot of money because of this dumbass kid to which the <laughs> lawyer of 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 the vic of the culprit rather in question hearing all of these accusations coming from Sushiro's uh, lawyers just said this one line and he said yeah i can't uh i can't answer any of those complaints you know you are screwed if your lawyer hears all of the arguments puts up his papers and goes you make a good point, dog. Hey, I got nothing to say to that. That that's that's a perfect argument. What the what the fuck do you want me? What are you looking at me for? What the fuck do you want me to do? So yeah, uh, good on Sushiro for actually you know sticking to their guns and uh, suing the fuck out of this kid. And uh, hey, if you're ever on TikTok and if you're ever on the internet and you're thinking to yourself, hmm, what if I did some like tomfoolery just to get a little bit of clout? Trust me. It ain't worth it. Unless you think that a viral TikTok video is worth half a million dollars. Uh, yeah, I, I, I would maybe just think about going to a sushi and just, you know, being respectful, enjoying the food, uh, not being a fucking idiot, and especially not posting it onto social media. So yeah, again, big round of applause to the biggest dumbass in Japan 2023. Uh, so far, you are in first place. There might be a couple of stories down the year where it'll be an even bigger fuck up than this, but you know, you reap what you sow, dog. And I hope this story doesn't ever deter you from like going to a sushi door because it is genuinely a really good restaurant. It's just unfortunate that they happen to run into these circumstances. And I hope that now that this suing story is public, it'll stop a bunch of TikTok kids from being like, yeah, maybe, maybe we shouldn't do that. Uh, anymore. Maybe, maybe we should uh, go, go somewhere else. Or maybe we should just stop. That, that, that'd that be an even better idea. But anyways, that's just a little story I wanted to share with you guys. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. And uh, hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to smack my face right here to subscribe to the channel. Let's keep making big channel number go bigger over here next to my head. A couple more videos you can check out if you enjoyed this one and the links to my social media as well as my Patreon to support me directly and my YouTube shorts and TikTok page down in the description. And I will see you all in the next one. Peace.